Damn so before TikTok. he could even eat breakfast, before he could even wash his face, before he could even take his morning presidential dump, Joe Biden did what all of us expected him to do. He signed the bill that would ban TikTok if they do not sell the company. Now, I think it's important to note that the reason Whoa. why this bill put Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You mean they pressed the CEO of TikTok, flew him out all the way into court, he had to fly out all the way to court, just to make fun of him, humiliate him over lies and make him look bad. But everybody in the TikTok community defended him, had his back, talking about, oh, it's data. Like they, oh, China is taking data. They, they taking a, uh, data from America, something like that. Spy, like, that's a lie. I just want to let y'all know all that is cap. The real reason why they want to ban TikTok is because TikTok is exposing a lot of things that's dealing with the government. That's it. They're getting exposed. A lot of things that we're not supposed to see is getting put out. A lot of things that a lot of people that's calling out, like people, like so many people got their business booming. So many people have successful businesses. Became successful content creators, made millions, made able to make money to never work a five nine job again. Like they didn't say nothing when it was a bunch of females shaking their yiddies and and thighs on TikTok. They didn't say nothing when all that was going on. But now they want to say something when people are exposing bad things that's going on in real life. They don't want that. They don't like that. They can't control what's being put out on that platform, on that app. That's the reason why they want it banned. Because they ain't saying banned, uh, they're not even saying banned uh, Facebook, they ain't even saying banned Instagram, they're not even saying banned Snapchat, none of that. Because they're already controlling what we see. They see everything we post, they know that. But they wanna say the person on, on uh, TikTok CEO of TikTok on uh, Chinese people, they want to dis discriminate on them and hate on them. But really, it's them. It's, it's, I'm could've... sorry. I'm not going to get to win. I'm not going to get too deep, you know, going to stay in my lane and all that, but that signed reason. as quickly as it was is because the bill was signed to eight dollars in the amount of 95 billion for israel and ukraine which we'll get into a little bit later but maybe that's why so i don't want people to be so alarmed and potentially give him some grace but i am about to go down this rabbit hole because a couple months ago when we talked about this i was wholeheartedly against this decision it never ceases to amaze me when both sides of the political aisle can come together on something and make very overwhelming decisions which means that hey you guys can come together and agree on something but i hate that it had to be on something that was so instrumental and key in american society like tiktok so the way that it has to work now is bite dance has about nine months to sell the product or they have to divest tiktok before the ban goes into effect if they're going in the process of selling they'll have three months extension you know to get everything sorted out or whatever the case may be now i could only imagine that they'll have to get some sort of approval as to who to sell the company to and i can pretty much guarantee the big players are going to be involved the mark zucker Zuckerbergs of the world, the Jeff Bezos of the world. Hell, even I think Elon Musk will muster up some money in order to try to purchase a. I'm pretty sure Elon Musk gonna buy. He's like the richest dude on the planet right now, which I hope he does buy because you know we have freedom of speech, just like he bought uh, uh Twitter. So. That would be good. Instrument of chaos like TikTok. Now, I've said it from the beginning. There has been no real reason as to why they would go ahead and attack TikTok in the way that they did. I've been hearing BS. I already told you why they're attacking TikTok. If you know, excuse you know. after BS excuse, I've been seeing them in trial time and time again, just terrorizing the CEO of TikTok. Of what nation are you a citizen? Singapore. Are Sorry. you a citizen of any other nation? No, Senator. Have you ever applied for Chinese citizenship? No, I did not. Have you ever been a member of the Chinese Communist Party? Senator, I'm Singaporean. No. The only thing that I could think of is that they're owned by a company who may have ties to Chinese interests. And even though we have some border directors on there that are American, they could be selling our data over there. And because they're an enemy, that doesn't matter. Nah, they're saying that for no reason. 
talking about selling their data to their enemy. That doesn't make any sense. How are you saying that over to one country? Like I don't, I don't, I don't know. You, you assume. I don't know if they actually. I don't if I don't know if that's true or not. If that's true. Then that's bad. I don't know. I don't know if that's true or not. I'm that. not the brightest, but I'm thinking to myself, I have a Sony camera here or a Sony PlayStation here. I have all the Toshibas and the Samsungs and all these other Chinese devices. But what makes this one different? So massive amounts of videos have been flooding in from the internet about TikTok and their bill and what's going on and the future plans. And someone that I really want to hear from is TikTok CEO about plans for TikTok in the future. You may have heard Congress passed a bill that the president signed into law that is designed to ban TikTok in the United States. States. TikTok gives everyday Americans a powerful way to be seen and heard. And that's why so many people have made TikTok part of their daily lives. Rest assured, we aren't going anywhere. The facts and the constitution are on our side and we expect to prevail again. Our community is also filled with 7 million business owners yeah. who have built their livelihoods on TikTok. That's a good While point. we make our case in court, you'll still be able to enjoy TikTok like you always have. In fact, if you have a story about how TikTok impacts your life, we will love for you to share it to showcase exactly what we're fighting for. No matter how much you hate and feel about TikTok and the way that they go about things by affecting today's society's attention spans, ultimately that is a byproduct. They saw a space in which honestly has been created through history in which people are looking for long form content less. This is just the next step, the evolution of what's already been planted in American society. So I've seen a lot of people like Moist Critical be very critical about those things, but TikTok isn't the thing that created this. This is just exploring a deeper hole that the American society has already dug itself in. But what I can say is that TikTok is a Ooh, American society already dig a damn hole, like a bigger, bigger hole, bro. Like, I'm sorry, just stupid, man. They just keep trying to attack other people other than themselves. They just want other people to feel like they're the enemy, but really it's them. You, you can't own everything. You feel threatened by other people that's exposing your ass. That's the only reason why you're doing this. A great app. Like what he just said is very powerful and very true in a lot of regards. And the only thing that the American government had for him was a bunch of lies and a really nasty Senate meeting. I agree with Joe Biden. And also, they, they cover things up in America. They're very good at covering things up and acting like, acting like, Nothing has happened. And then they want to try to contradict themselves. And they want to try to throw insecurities and project their problems and their wrongdoings on another country. Every country ain't perfect. Every country has their flaws. You know, it can be bad people anywhere. But the ones that's projecting all that hate, the one that's starting wars and all that, like, not going to get into it too much. Stay under the community guidelines. But you know what I mean? Is Xi Jinping a dictator? Senator, I, I'm not going to comment. Comment on any world leaders. Are you scared that you'll lose your job if you say anything about negative about the Chinese Communist Party? Turn to what TikTok, a tool of the Chinese Communist Party, is doing to America's youth. Does the name Mason Edens ring a bell? He was a 16-year-old Arkansan. After a breakup in 2022, he went on your platform and searched for things like inspirational quotes and positive affirmations. Instead, he was served up numerous videos glamorizing suicide until he killed himself. Just disingenuous take after disingenuous take. If they really care that much about American society, why not bring all the world leaders in social media to the floor, especially the ones that are run by Americans, and have them answer the same question? Why not? Exactly. Like, why are you hating on a Chinese man with his invention, but you want to buy it, but you want to buy his product? You just want to own somebody else's creativity so you can say it's yours, so you can put out what everybody else want, like that they shouldn't see. You want to control what we should see and what we shouldn't. That's the only reason why they're doing this. The other content, like the other app leaders that created their app, the one that created Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, I think, like, they're not getting crucified. They're not the one getting this treatment, but 
the it's always somebody in another country. I'm just weird. Not Very hold high. Elon responsible for some of the things that are going on on his app. Why not hold Mark Zuckerberg responsible for the things that he put on his platform? Oh yeah, you did. We saw how you handled Mark Zuckerberg in the last time that he was there. It felt very much like kid gloves when compared to the TikTok CEO. And then when data came out to support that you don't really care about the American public, you let Mark Zuckerberg run free. We saw that Facebook spent $7.6 million on lobbying last quarter alone, and you did not care. We know about Facebook's data collection efforts and you do not care but so in the parts of facebook playing a role in the january 6 riots or the parts in facebook playing the role in any other racial injustices or hate and fear mongering in this country we saw how you guys have reacted you guys do not care we know that this is straight up censorship from the american people no matter how you slice it and dice it no matter what senator you send out there to tell us a bs lie many americans particularly young americans are rightfully skeptical they've not been in the classified briefings that congress has held which have delved into more deeply some of the threat posed by foreign control of TikTok. But what they have seen, beyond even this bill, is Congress's failure to enact meaningful consumer protections on big tech, and may cynically view this as a diversion, or worse, a concession to U.S. social media platforms. I wish they wouldn't just lie in our face, especially because we've seen the jump in all the senators and all the people in politics that went as soon as the bill was launched. Hell, the author of the bill, Mark Wayne Mullen, said that the yeah, bill was the face. right step forward just before putting $50,000 into meta stock so you can't sit there and confuse us by saying we don't know and give these claims of a national security risk when on the same day you gave billions of dollars of aid to israel trying to get us into this war and trying to do things in the middle east while there's supposedly no strings attached we will not be in your genjutsu it cannot happen i'd rather much you be straightforward as the american government to tell us why you've decided to ban tiktok like this government official nearly a third of adults 18 to 29 in the U.S. are regularly getting their news exclusively from TikTok. Pro-Palestinian and Hamas, uh, pro-Hamas hashtags are generating 50 times the views on TikTok right now, despite the fact that polling shows Americans overwhelmingly support Israel. This is not coincidence. Chinese Communist Party is doing this on purpose. I'm glad that he has shown his true colors. Round of applause for him. Look, I'm not very deep into the Israel-Palestine conflict to Me be caught either. up on a day-to-day -day basis. But what I do I know is that young Americans that. have decided that it is gonna be their go-to app for the foreseeable future. Especially after we've spent decades of being lied to on the news, they've been able to edit and skew things on the news. Of course there was gonna be a- hey, 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 I'm glad he said that because the funny thing is, like I said, they control what we see on TV, on Instagram, on Facebook, Snapchat, all the American apps that's mainstream right now, they're controlling what we see. They don't want us to see what we need to see. But they want to bash TikTok because they're exposing people are waking up. That's why. They want us to be in that trans, that loop, that... uh. Obstacle illusion, you know, that want us to be hypnotized, manipulated. Social media platform where people can take videos on the ground and show you what's actually going on for you to formulate your opinion. I don't think that this guy knows how algorithms work. I wish he had video proof to provide for him, but these people most likely already believe these things. So that's why the things are showing up in their search results. But because they're not watching your Fox News of the world, your CNNs of the world, or whatever of the worlds that can skew their perspective and leave half truths in the news, you're upset about it. I would want to know what this data looks like across all social media platforms since you hold these concerns in such high regards what do the hashtags look like for tiktok what do the hashtags look like for twitter bring all the data to let me know that it hey this is just a tiktok issue nothing more nothing less and then maybe i will give some leeway and grace to your decision this is not an attempt to ban tiktok it's an attempt to make tiktok better tick tack toe a winner. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! At the end of the day, to me, what this hurts is, one, young people getting their news, having a place to congregate, and having a place to share information with each other, and two, the small business entrepreneur. There were so many people on TikTok who took advantage of things like the TikTok shop, the ad money, you know, getting their name out to sell their own products and their own website, that this affects so heavily that we may even see a flux in the economy because of it. TikTok allowed people to make money through content creation, 
situation. Even though I don't think it was the best, it was a way for people to get their phone bill paid. It was a way for people to get their car note paid. It was a way for people to reach new heights. So founder of August, we make tampons and pads. We launched like on TikTok in 2021. I basically used TikTok as a way to share the story of the brand when we first came into the world. That following is really what helped grow us as a direct consumer business and eventually reach the sides where we were able to launch into Target. We're then using TikTok as a main platform to really drive brand awareness. And I think there's something really unique about TikTok as a platform, even in comparison to Instagram, where it's really focused on top of funnel brand awareness. When you think about direct to consumer brands or just brands in general who are looking to build brand awareness, that TikTok magic is so essential to being able to grow. The other thing I'll say about small businesses is that they are uniquely supported by TikTok because the amount of money that it costs to advertise at a successful level on meta platforms had skyrocketed. So I just I'd skip this shit. Consideration other people's interests. They didn't even send out a poll. They gave us the opportunity on TikTok to sign something and call our congressperson, but they shut the phone lines off for that and didn't let us pick what we wanted in our own decision making. I don't think people actually realize how much of an effect banning TikTok will have on small businesses. That algorithm functions differently and more powerfully than any other algorithm I've ever interacted with. I've had multiple businesses and I have used Instagram and Facebook primarily for marketing for those businesses. I can count on one hand the amount of times for both businesses in a matter of over a decade, how many clients I have gained through Facebook or Instagram. Whereas TikTok, I've grown to over 23 and a half thousand followers in a year and they're sending me people who actually go to the link in my bio and actually buy my art and it's crazy because people's whole lives will have to change based off of this decision tiktok is a real money maker for a lot of people i'm a business owner i, I it really is it helps people business boom it helps content creators you know become a streamer whoever likes streaming like it really helps a lot of people that want to live their dream. It helps maximizing that chance of actually doing it and living it. And Twitter don't do that. Facebook definitely don't do that. Instagram definitely don't do that because you have to be already well known. So it has to now they have to make another app that's very similar to TikTok. I'm sorry about the uh, Chinese guy, bro. We have to make another thing like TikTok, man. Such a sad shame. I have 15 team members, uh, have a book and a podcast, and we are a financial education company. And we have 2.3 million followers on TikTok. It is by far our biggest audience. And if TikTok were to be banned, that would mean severe repercussions for me and literally thousands and thousands of United States-based businesses. Look, I would like to think that the U.S. had our best interest in heart here, but to no, be honest don't. with you, no, they they're scared of this boogeyman entity that really hasn't shown itself to be a real problem, especially when there are a bunch of safeguards that we have from Chinese companies. Like, again, there's Sony's in our homes. There's Toshiba's in our homes. I wonder what the difference is between that and Facebook. I don't know. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed <laughs> This reaction video and I'll see you guys in the next